Hi everyone. So today, like I'm going to explain one of the important administrative transaction code in ACP GRC. So like uh, this transaction code is mission critical for carrying out any support work in ACP GRC. And uh, based on my experience, lots of people is not aware of this particular T code. And uh, whenever we want to delete a particular workflow or like whenever we want to cancel a specific workflow or uh, whenever we want to uh, re-trigger or uh, make changes to the user or the recipient of a particular work item. So I have seen uh, different ways of uh, doing it, but there is one standard SAP way through which uh, we need to do it. And in this present video, I'm just going to explain about the same. So the transaction code which I'm speaking about is a GRPC AS Reorg. And this P code is a lifesaver for all the activities like whatever I've just described. So let's take an example. Like I have a user and uh, the planner has uh, triggered the assessment for the user. And later the planner realized that the user is not the right recipient and the planner needs to cancel. But most of the times, like what I have seen people doing, uh, they go to SWIA transaction, which is basically workflow administrative transaction code and they cancel the work item over there. So though like uh, the work item gets disappeared from the user inbox, the corresponding objects which gets created as a part of the entire work workflow processing will not get uh, updated because of which in the front end reporting, the object will be still showing it as open. Actually, the object is already closed. So I'm going to explain like the idealistic way of doing this. And uh, we can do this through uh, this T code, GRPC is real. Now I'll just launch this particular T code. And once I launch this particular T code, as you can see here, an option called as delete cases and workflow. So this is the place where we need to carry out, or this is a place where we need to run this utility. And we have a wide variety of options. We can choose an organization or a control or a, a sub process which we are intended, or if we know the technical case side, like from uh, we can go to a CMG case attribute table, or we can go to SWIA and we can get the corresponding technical case ID from, uh, from there. And we just need to pass this information. Or it can be as simple as that of like the assessment type, which I'm interested, uh, which I need to cancel it. So that way, like we have a wide variety option and this uh, transaction code is a lifesaver where the planner by mistake has created thousands of uh, assessments and uh, it needs to be deleted. The beauty of this transaction code is we also have the audit log capture. So that way uh, we can be pretty sure that uh, whatever we have done is also getting recorded. So thank you.